Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And I'm going to basically show you guys how I set up Google Voice to be a second line on my device as a burner line or a line that I give to people that I don't want having my actual number. But in order to do this, you do need a cell number to authenticate the account. So make sure you have a number that you could verify a code that you'll get text from Google Voice to authenticate. But basically, through the setup process, you're going to search for a number, go off your area code area, um, and choose a number that you want to be your Google Voice number. So I will select mine that I want here. And I don't mind anyone seeing it because this is a dummy Gmail account. So if you call, it's not going to ring my phone at all. Anyways, I chose that number. Now we got to link an actual cellular number to it. This is something that you will have to have in order to get this going. And I go ahead and do that and receive a text and enter that in to authenticate. And it basically set me up. That's the number that I gave to this uh, dummy account. Next thing it's going to ask me is if I want my dialer app to ring rather than the Google Voice app. <clears throat> and I like to keep those separate because, like I said, I'm using this for VOIP, second line, burner line, whatever. So I selected no. And now you're in the main user interface. So here what you're going to do to get it to where it makes calls and receives calls over data is you're going to go to settings. And when you're inside settings, the very first box on your account, port in if you want to bring a number to Google Voice, you can. But... Anyways, we'll go down here where it says making and receiving calls, and I'm going to choose prefer Wi-Fi mobile data for phone calls. That way it doesn't use cellular connection to make that call. So everything will be done over either my mobile data or Wi-Fi if I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have a SIM card in your phone, then, of course, it's, going to, it's just going to use Wi-Fi. So wherever there's Wi-Fi access, you'll be able to make and receive calls. Um, from there, you have other options you can turn on, like you can make your caller ID anonymous. Um, you can have it screen calls where someone has to announce who they are and why they're calling before you can connect to the call. So you'll hear what they're saying before you want, you know, in case you don't know what the number is. Um, you can get missed call alerts sent to your email as well. So not only in the app will it notify you, but in your email, when you check your email later, you'll see that you got a missed call. And it also sends uh, voicemails there too, if you want it to. But um, you can also choose to show your Google voice number when you have call forwarding turned on. So that way your Google Voice number will be on the caller ID. You have options to record a conversation. That's actually pretty cool. And you can remove your call history if you want to. For voicemail, you have the standard greeting or you can record your own greeting. And you can also, like I said, have your um, voicemail sent to your email. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's other things that you know you can do here too. If you download Google Voice on multiple devices, you can have all those devices ring or choose which specific ones you want to ring. You can also filter the spams. Hey, why not? Useful tool to help with spam blocking. Tons of good features with Google Voice. That's why I like it as my burner line. But again, like I said, you can choose which devices that you want set up. Um, so if you go to devices and numbers and you choose that, it's going to bring you a list of everything that's signed into your Google Voice and you choose which ones you want for inbound calls, which ones you don't want for inbound calls. Outbound calls, you don't need to worry about that because if you have the app downloaded on your phone, you're going to be able to make outbound calls. Um, but yeah, this is a fairly simple thing. Uh, pretty cool tool. Hopefully you guys enjoy my little tutorial on it.